हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू टेस्का टेक्नोलॉजीज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड माई सेल्फ मिताली जैन एंड इन टूडेज सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट डिजिटल मल्टीमीटर हैंड हेल्ड थ्री थ्री बाय फोर्थ डिजिट ऑर्डर कोड इज वन सिक्स नाइन जीरो वन दिस मल्टीमीटर इज यूज टू मेजर करंट वोल्टेज एंड टू मेजर द डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट सच इज रजिस्टर कैपेसिटर इंडक्टर एंड इट्स ऑल्सो यूज टू मेजर द टेम्परेचर तो दिस इज आर डिजिटल मीटर and uh, it is of 3 and 3 by 4th digit these are different functions and here are different functions you can set the different functions such as dc ac voltage dc ac function so it is used to hold the value it is for hertz in percent and this is backlight so if we want to have a backlight on this lcd display then we have to uh, press this button and this is a control knob in this there are different functions such as this is of ac dc voltage these are uh, to test the different parameters such as capacitor diode to check the continuity resistance this is for hertz and these are for testing the temperature in celsius and fahrenheit and this is used to test the current in micro ampere and in milli ampere in ac dc and through the function button we can set the ac dc and this is used to measure the current in ampere and these are on off on off switches so when we will uh, rotate the knob then this uh, lcd display will be started and these are the ports where we will connect our test lead these test leads are provided this is negative test lead this is positive test lead and this is the temperature probe which is used to test the temperature in celsius and fahrenheit and this is the back panel of the multimeter so here we will insert the battery and this is the stand so in this way we can put the stand and the meter and by default this multimeter is set in auto range so now we will perform the experiment so first of all we will connect these test lead and check the continuity of fuse so uh, this is positive test lead so here is the continuity sign so here we will connect it and this is the negative test lead so we will connect the negative test lead so we have connected these test lead then after that then after that we have to switch on the supply like we have to switch on the meter so first of all we have to set it to continuity the buzzer sound then after that through the function uh, this is the backlight option so we can with the long press we can start the light also so after that this is the function button so from here you can we have set the continuity now we will check the continuity of this fuse and if you want to hear the buzzer sound so you can do this also so the buzzer sound is audible then after that we have to connect the fuse in this way so you can see that continuity is tested so it means that this fuse is working properly so now we will check the value of resistance so we have already said that but by function key we can set it to resistance so we have set it to resistance remember that by default its range which is set is auto so it's already set in auto then after that we will check the resistance of this resistor so now we will place the resistor and uh, we will check the value of resistance so you can note that it's nearly about 1 kilo ohm which you can note so in this way you can measure the resistance so now if you want to measure the diode so you have to set it to diode the value of diode so i have set it to diode so this is the diode which i am using so we have to place the negative and positive end of the diode in this way so you can also note the value of diode and in this way you can check the cap uh, diode then uh, capacitance then uh, resistance in kilo ohm mega ohm according to the rating so in this way you can calculate the different components and through this 
voltage. So, you can set it to DC, you can set it to AC and you can also set it to DC in millivolts and in different ranges. And if you want, want to find current, so you have to set it to micro current. So, it is for micro current, it is for milli current and it is for normal current. So, for micro ampere, so this is for DC and if you would want AC current, so you have to press AC button function switch. Then after that if you would like to find the current in milli ampere, so set it to milli ampere. Then through function button you can set it to DC and AC, so it is now DC and if you will press the button, so it will be in AC. And similar with this, so we can, in this way we can operate the different functions. So now we will find the uh, temperature uh, through uh, the temperature probe. So for this experiment, we will use these temperature probes. So we will connect the positive and negative lead. So in this way, we'll connect the positive lead. So the lead I have already connected. Now I'll set it to. Uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. So, for that we have to move it to Celsius. So, this is uh, in Celsius and uh, this is in Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. So, this is the indicator. So, now it is the room temperature. So, it is showing the room temperature and uh, if uh, I will test the temperature of my body. So, I will press this button. Uh, press this and hold this indicator from the, this end. So, you can see that it the value is changing and when the room temperature is uh, nearly about 30. So, now my body temperature which is showing is uh, nearly about 34 degree Celsius. Hence, this is all about today's session. For further query, you can contact to Tesco Technologies Private Limited and you can also refer to our user manual. So, thank you for watching the video.